Um, what a reaction that was from your players. Yeah, I think um, if anything, you'd probably say it uh, the, within a space of a, a few days epitomises the job of the manager. You get the you get the defeat, you get the the frustration, the the anger, the annoyance uh, of a result at home, and it's all on you. And you've got to be prepared to take it. Uh, but within it, then you've still got to make good decisions, brave decisions, uh, and stick to your beliefs. Uh, and again, what you need is you need the the understanding, the support, the willingness, the buy-in from the players. And but the biggest thing is, I think, is the honesty. As a manager, then when things get tough, you've got to be honest. And when thick players aren't doing what you need them to do, you've got to tell them. Tell them in the right way, but you've got to be honest with them. And, and, but then you need the the players to be able to be able to be honest enough. When then somebody tells you that they're not doing enough, they've got to be honest and understand. Yeah, I can do more. Uh, and that was the message through the day. We've got we've got, we've got some good players. We've um, we've brought in and shaped uh, the makings of a of a squad that is a competitive squad in this division. Um, they got told in no uncertain terms that the demands that I put on them uh, haven't been met. The, they accepted the, the criticism uh, and they've showed tonight uh, what hard work can earn you. Well, exactly. And you mentioned now after Saturday you thought they had another yard in them. They didn't work hard enough. But you couldn't say that tonight. Every, every man to a man ran his socks off. Yeah. Um, good organisation, good shape, good game plan. Uh, I think a lot of people would have uh, would have questioned starting Andy Williams after the uh, the miss on Saturday, but we can all make mistakes. We, we can all miss a chance. We can all uh, a misplaced pass. We can all do that. But then within it, there's uh, there's an understanding of the role that's required, a willingness to work. Uh, and I thought he, he earned his goal today because. Um, I call it the graveyard shift, and we, did, we said it in training. I said, um, uh, Andy Williams is going to do the, the most miles, uh, the most unchallenged work. You know, the work he's going to do, very most of the time, it's going to be without any reward. As in, he's not going to get anywhere near the ball, but he's going to do what he's going to do is make their play predictable, frustrate them, keep play one side, and him working and him being sacrificing himself and being willing to work will save well, the other players the mileage in their legs because we can keep playing one side. Uh, uh, but, yeah, he, he did the job fantastically well today and he got a reward, one chance, one goal. Yeah, that, you've said it all there really, the, the resilience of Andy Williams to, to miss a chance like that, to come into starting eleven, and then to get his chance and take it so brilliantly. Yeah, and, uh, and again, that's, it's the, att uh, the attitude because, it's, uh, because you know you're going to do the graveyard shift. If you don't see it as a challenge, uh, the miles seem twice as far. If you see it that I'm not going to get brought off the, by 60 minutes, and everything I last after 70 minutes, 75 minutes is a plus. I'm telling Andy Williams that uh, 75 minutes, uh, five more minutes. He goes, no, there's 15 to go. That's the type of attitude that you want. He's enjoying it. He's understanding his role. Uh, other players are giving him that extra yard when he needs it, and that's what we needed uh, today. Uh, everybody hit the required. There's still an improvement to be, uh, to be had, uh, but there was a collective unity within the group there that and the foundation of it was hard work. You mentioned in uh, uh, a saying that probably some of the younger players may not be familiar with, work, with that uh, from the result on Saturday, uh, hard work will beat talent when talent doesn't work hard. And I think that epitomises the result on Saturday. Yeah. Some of the players would have come in uh, and said that they worked hard. When you see, if you watch back the video, there's more yards in us, and that will be proved today. Keith, I think you said pretty much that uh, you'll win the ball off the ball, and we saw that in abundance this evening. You've mentioned Williams doing the graveyard shift, which he did really, really well there. He, he, he made sure they was making mistakes all over the place. But also, the back five kept the back four kept them shaped, the midfield four five kept them shaped as well, and they made sure that the running off the ball won them the ball back. Yeah, definitely. And again, uh, but it starts by Andy Williams sacrificing himself and being prepared to do that work. We could keep our shape, and we knew where we could win the ball back. 
even then the, the midfield as soon as Andy Williams shown played one side our midfield players had to be locked on had to be engaged and we had to win the ball back on the right side we couldn't afford for them to bounce the ball in and pass the ball out the other side we needed to attack the ball in midfield on the right side on the right shoulder uh, and I thought we won the ball back occasionally very well but probably if there's a, a frustration in the first half was we thought we could win the ball back and we could get Sam Hoskins 1v1 with one of their defenders in the edge of the box. Probably the frustration from the first half was everything worked well. We got the ball to Sammy and he shot too early. Uh, obviously, yeah, you've got you've got a centre back dressed up, take him on. But yeah, again, uh, just take on board the yeah, coming away from home, clean sheet, scoring a goal, looking solid, looking resilient, uh, and looking hungry. Just a final one on Andy Williams' goal. Was he a tad offside? Um, I'd probably say uh, slightly more than a tad. <laughs> that, that's what he looked like. But we talked about the luck over the course of the season, and you earn your luck in certain circumstances, don't you? I, I think, we're, um, to be honest, I think we're still due a little bit luck. But um, as I say, the harder, harder you work, the luckier you get. How important is the first three points of the season, especially against a side who started so well as well today, in the context of your season? I, th I think the important thing was we got three points a day in, in, front, in front of a fantastic travelling support. Right, right from the minute one, yeah, we haven't won a game in, in, in three. A little bit of despondency, a little bit of downturn, which, which, which is going to come because we've had a lot of transfers, been a lot of activity, a lot of new people coming in, uh, and there's a lot of expectancy in, a, in and around the building, and everybody wants that first win, uh, and you could tell. Um, but right from minute one, uh, our supporters, as soon as we gave them something to shout about, and, it's, and sometimes it's Andy Williams working, winning the next challenge, they were right behind us. And I think that's massively important. When you come away from, uh, from home, you need to have that. It may only be a corner of the ground, but let me tell you, you could hear our supporters well above theirs. And finally, we've spoken so many times already this season about the need for momentum and stringing wins together. How important is it that you take this confidence into Saturday away at Colchester? Yeah, no, I think it's, it's the foundation of uh, the understanding of how we got the result today. And, and that's the benchmark, that's the minimum requirement. Hard work has got to be part of the DNA of a player that puts the shirt on. Um, we're going to get twists and turns and you can accept some, some players' failings or some players making decisions, but if they empty the tank and they give you everything, uh, we will be competitive. Keith, thank you very much. Uh, good work tonight. Congratulations. Cheers.